uh, walk away with? What kind of experience will you uh, enjoy? We're so fortunate, again, as John mentioned, to have this in our backyard and so fortunate to have such a performance-based citadel. I mean, when you take a look at uh, other uh, similar sites across the country, um, we have a lot going on on the ground, right from, you know, greeters at the gate before uh, a ticket is purchased right through to leaving the fort. There's always something going on every, every second of the day. Um, I guess what you get here is a term that we've coined. It's called edutainment. It's a cross between education and entertainment. And we're finding now that a lot of families with children are bringing them to sites that aren't just all about rides. Mm -hmm. They're about having fun and learning a bit of history as well. So um, they walk away with a knowledge of what military life was in the 1860s, what civilian life was in the 1860s, some of the duties and chores that were pertinent to the time. They learn about how much they were paid, <laughs> significant to what kids get paid today. They learn about um, a little bit of military history. They learn about artillery, about marching, about the music of the period, and they have fun doing it. And I, I know that we have uh, numerous educational programs where we've had teachers come in and say, you know, we teach this grade seven and eight history in the classroom. When we bring them to the site so they can touch, feel, see, and do, mm -hmm. all of a sudden their recall on names and dates is, is more significant. Um, they remember these things, and, and because they were actively involved on site with our guard and interpreters, it's a, a fantastic experience. And history truly comes to life. It sure does. Now here's a question. Who was Henry? Was Hen who, what is the fort named after? Henry Hamilton uh, was the uh, Lieutenant Governor of Upper Canada and uh, in tribute they uh, named Fort Henry and uh, uh, Point Henry which the fort sits on and down on the east side of the fort the cove there was originally named uh, Hamilton Cove. Okay. It's been called uh, Dead Man's uh, Cove and yes. a few other things, and most people uh, realize it or uh, recognize it by that name, but it was really called Hamilton Cove. And your mascot is a goat. A goat's name is David. Why a goat? Well, it was a gift from the St. David Society in Toronto, and uh, David, um, that's where the name say, Kim, comes from. Um, it's David the Ninth this year and last year, so this is our ninth mascot goat. It's a white Saint and goat which is rare in the scheme of things. And for anyone that's coming up to visit us and David, he adores carrots. So if you want to make friends with David, good to know. bring a little carrot with you. Okay, well, thank you to the two of you. A little bit of insight into the history of the Great. fort and the exciting application process that's going on. We'll cross our fingers and hope that Kingston uh, is designated a UNESCO heritage site. Great. We're going to take a quick break. Great. When we come back, we're going to learn a little bit more about some of the exciting things that are going on around the fort at this time of year, the summer season. We're also going to talk to Rob Carnegie, the Director of Tourism at the Kingston Economic Development Corporation, to find out how the fort and the city work together to make these things come alive. Stay with us.